Welcome to the Final Cut, my friends, my movie maniac buddies out there, and today we're going to take a look at the highly anticipated John Carter, okay? Based off of the Barsoom series, and it's the first book in the Barsoom series, The Princess of Mars, read it, written by Edgar Rice Burroughs. Well, it tells the story of John Carter, who's a Civil War soldier who, after the war, goes out prospecting, and after a run-in with the Apaches, he goes, hides in a cave, and... There he goes, he's off on Mars, and on Mars he finds he has some special abilities he didn't have on Earth. Well, on his way to try to find a way home, he ends up hooking up with the tribe out there of aliens, earns their respect, and then from there he gets involved in the war between two nations because he ends up meeting the princess from one of the nations and uh, she's kind of falling for her and they're, they're more of the good guys and the other guys are more of the bad guys, okay? I liked John Carter, okay? It's getting some harsh criticism. I'm not sure why, okay? One of the things that I've seen some people say is, well, we've seen some of these things before. Yeah, there's a reason for it. The Princess of Mars, uh, Princess of Mars is a hundred years old story, okay? And it, that series, the Barsoom series, influenced many of your great sci-fi writers. So yes, you're gonna see a lot of elements in this sci-fi movie that you've seen in other sci-fi movies doesn't mean that it's bad by a long shot. They're great themes that are common in sci-fi, and it was just fun seeing a nice, epically shot sci-fi film that didn't have Jorge Lucas's name on it, all right? And then you've got a great director in the form of Andrew Stanton, who, yes, he's directed mostly animated in the form of Wally -E and uh, Bugs Life, but those were great animated movies, and there's so many beautiful special effects in this film, it's almost like an animated film rather than a live-action film. Not to take away from it, because it is visually stunning. I love the special effects in this film. You buy into the aliens, the big moving city, I mean, just the fantastic... Uh, you know, palette of colors you have, plus the visuals of different things, the different contraptions and technology that are in here, all real stimulating to watch and make it a viewably enjoyable film. Then there's the performances. You've got a great solid cast in here. Taylor Kitsch does a great John Carter, okay? You've got a talented Lynn Collins. Then you got what? Samantha Morton, William Defoe, motion capture acting as one of the aliens, but still it's William Defoe, Thomas Hayden Church is in there, Mark Strong, and then it's like a Rome re reunion. Uh, you the TV series Rome. It's like a reunion there where you've got uh, Kieran Hines who played Caesar. He's in it. You've got uh, James Purfoy who was uh, Mark Anthony. He's in it. And Polly uh, Walker who played Atti in it. The big three heavies from that TV series are in here and they did fantastic performances in the TV Rome. And they are talented and bring fantastic performances in John Carter. What you do get in John Carter is a fantastic visuals, great story, and fantastic performances by a group of individuals who uh, aren't huge names, but they are uh, fantastic actors. Folks, four stubs for John Carter. It's an epic sci-fi. It's nice to see on the big screen. And it comes out at a time when you would think uh, this type of movie would be released more towards the summer. It's a better time where it is now because you can focus just on this and it doesn't get buried with all the other sci-fi lane movies that are coming out this year, or special effects movies that are coming out this year. John Carter is definitely worth the price of admission, at least a matinee, and I really suggest you go see it. And that'll about do it for us here at Final Cut. Until next time, keep the tickets up.